Happy birthday to Dave DeBusher. Yeah, Dave DeBusher was born in October, October 16th, which is today, ladies and gentlemen. Today would be his birthday. But unfortunately, Mr. DeBusher died May 14th, 2003, of a heart attack, and he was only 63. But in memory of him, born on October 16th, 1940, David Albert DeBusher was an American professional baseball player, professional basketball player, and professional basketball coach. Yes, I said that right. And I thought this is something that is so interesting. You need to know who Dave DeBusher was. He was a great player. I actually saw him play. I am uh, that mature. And he was a great basketball player. But he also played baseball. DeBusher played for the Chicago White Sox of Major League Baseball in 1962 and in 1963. He was a pitcher. Won a couple of games. I mean, uh, you know, yeah. But he played. He made it to the major leagues. I mean, the guy was a uh, very distinguished pitcher in college. At Detroit University, he played basketball, averaged 24 points a game, and he pitched. And he pitched them to uh, the playoffs three straight years. They're called the Titans, Detroit Titans. And so he was that accomplished. He was that good. So he was drafted as a baseball player and a basketball player. And he played some baseball for Chicago at the same time. He was also playing basketball for the Detroit Pistons from 1962 to 1968. While he was doing that, he also served as the head coach for the Pistons from 1964 to 1967. This guy, um, wow. Wow. That's a lot of energy. That's a lot of brain power. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of work ethic right there. Okay. And I think that's what I'm trying to say. And, and, This is what stood out to me when I watched Dave DeBusher play was he was blue collar all the way, had a great shot, great jump shot, rebounded, pursued plays, uh, played great defense, was, you know, really, really, I'm telling you, he was a really good player. Um, He was traded. Now, being a player and a coach did not uh, prevent or prohibit DeBusher from being traded, even back then. Uh, they traded you, they were going to trade you. They wanted to trade you, they were going to trade you. And he was traded from um, Detroit to the New York Knicks in 1968. And he played there until he retired in 1974, which was a pretty good deal because the Busher was part of two NBA championships with the New York Knicks in 1970 and 73. And those have been the only championships they have won in the NBA. I, I mean, you'd have to go, I, I'm pretty sure I go way back, okay, way, way back. Um, and I'd have to research it, but I believe those are the only NBA championships that New York has. Now, if somebody has different information and you listen to the clip, okay, comment. Let me know. But as far as I know, the Bush was part of the only two championships that New York City, the New York City Knickerbockers, have ever won, whether they had Spike Lee in the stands or not, okay? It didn't matter. He was not going to give them good luck. He's not a a very good leprechaun. Not a good luck leprechaun, though Spike isn't, because whether he's there or not, they lose. So happy birthday to, happy posthumous birthday to Dave DeBusha in memory of his accomplishments and type of player that he was.